Now open your Anaconda launcher. So this is my Anaconda navigator. Today we are seeing how to use uh, NumPy. Once this Anaconda navigator is open, open Jupyter Lab, launch it. This this pop-up has been open. Open Python 3. Click up on this. Start right in the program. Start the program. Import NumPy as NP. So this NumPy has already been installed as a part of your environment in the first video we have seen. Let's see one dimensional array. First create a list of your array for shift enter. So my array name I am giving, let it be my array is equal to numpy array I want to create np dot array my list. So that is my list. So this is the way of creating one dimensional array. Shift enter. Let's see what is my array. My array and uh, shift enter it is showing it, it is a, it has already created as array in which uh, one to three for has store one dimensional array. Now let's see two dimensional array np dot zeros. I want to see what is this function is. Shift tab. You press upon shift tab, it will do that. It's documentation. Shape you have to tell what type of shape you want to create. I want to create 3 by 4 array. Here I have to give shape is equal to 3 by 4 array. So 3 rows and 4 columns you can see here. See 3 rows, 4 columns zeros two dimensional array has been created now see one more uh, np dot uh, once shift tab the documentation shape you have to tell right shape i am expecting five rows and two columns shape is equal to shift and five rows and two columns the type is floating point now every time no need of typing this shape. Now let's try this. Just shift enter. Same you got. Now let's see how to generate a random numbers. How to seed that random numbers. First np that random you have dot seed. Let a 100 numbers I want to. I want to generate an array as a culture np dot random dot random integer now if you see now shift tab is if you see the type low to high i have to give 100 numbers i am generating low is one comma 100 in between i want any nine numbers randomly shift enter i want arr i want to see shift enter arr arr shift enter see randomly it has generated nine numbers let's try one more time AR, AR we will take random np dot random dot rand int same 1 comma 100 any 9 numbers I want to generate shift enter AR if you see shift enter these two are not at all matched see randomly it is generated any numbers now let's find out the maximum value the minimum value and the mean value of the array Simple, er is my array, this is my array of er, in this I want max value, er dot max, shift enter, so 99 is the maximum value of this array. Now I want the location of the maximum value, if you see the location is the first location, zero is the location, er dot arg max, so it will give the location, the first location, zero is the location. In the same way you can do it for the mean also. Shift enter. In the same way, you can do for minimum value. Shift enter. You can get it. Okay. One more we will see. Np dot arrange. Let's see. Shift tab. Np dot arrange. We are a and g. Shift tab. If you see, start and stop values you have to give, and step size you have to give. Now starting value. I want to go from 1 to 10 step size of 2 shift enter I got see 
1 to 10 each size of two eye part. Once again, you try. Paste step, step size related with one you take shift enter 1 to 9. Let's find out the shape of the array. Here dot shape your array name dot shape shift enter my shape of the array is 9 because 9 numbers are there only only one row is there and that one row 9 elements are there you can reshape it also er dot reshape what is the reshape shift tab if you click the, what is the new shape you want it is asking first uh, arrange at 3 cross 3 3 rows 3 columns shift enter see they arrange as 3 rows and 3 columns let's generate one array np dot shift tab np dot arrange 0 to 100 i want to generate 0 to 100 of interval of 1 a big array will get right shift enter let's see big array this again i am copying this shape is dot shape what is the shape of this i want to see shift enter shape is only one row is there i want to reshape it again i am copying dot reshape reshape to what reshape to um, i want to make it as uh, 10 by 2 10 by 10 10 times are 100 shift enter let's see 10 by 10 i got let's assign a name for it so just uh, i am copying with some matrix i am calling it as mat is equal to control e shift enter. Okay. now what is mat shift enter let's see this is my other mat in this matrix i want uh, this uh, 11th object first row first column so row is equal to 1 and uh, col column is equal to 1 shift enter i want uh, mat mat square bracket row comma col what i am expecting see first row this is first row this is first column 11 i should return it should return 11 yes it return 11 now you try to get 55 or any one of this let it be fifth row 1 2 3 four, 0 1 2 3 4 fifth row fifth row fifth column 0 1 2 3 4 5 55 i want fifth row fifth column so r o w is equal to 5 and enter column is equal to it will be 4 you take shift enter i want a matrix of row comma column shift enter directly you can write fourth row fifth column also you can write fifth row fifth column also actually i will show you fifth row fifth column shift enter 55 now i want all the elements of the column all the elements of the row then how can i get it same column let it be i want a zeroth column shift enter see i have all the elements of the zeroth column let's say 0 10 20 right see 0 10 20 30 i want a row then row also you can get a mat zeroth row i want zeroth row comma column shift enter see all the elements of the zeroth row in this way you can get a complete row or complete column numbers now i will show you slice let's take our matrix so in this i want particularly see let's this 3 by 3 matrix i want first 3 by 3 matrix means 0 row 2 1 2 second row 0 column 2 1 2 match 0 0 2 0 1 2 3 i want 0 to column a column 3 comma 0 column 3 shift enter see i got a 3 by 3 slicing this is called slicing in this way you can slice any enter. now i want to replace all these values with a uh, with value 1 now check it now check your matrix check your matrix now see all these 3 by 3 matrix become 1 sometimes we need to copy the whole matrix for that Let's take new name, mat, my new one is equal to mat.copy. So, mat.copy, let's see, 